Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Tesha Miller, the alleged leader of the Klansman gang based in St. Catherine, arrived in Jamaica Thursday and has been released by police authorities. Miller was deported from the U.S. following a conviction in 2014 for illegally re-entering that country. A draft report containing the proposed findings and recommendations of the West Kingston Commission of Inquiry has been completed. Secretary to the three-member commission, Maria Jones, says the final document is to be sent to the Governor-General, Sir Patrick Allen, by the middle of next month. A truck laden with the food supplies was looted after it crashed today along a road in the Cary Park area of Duncans in Trelawney. Motorists and residents swooped down on the truck's supplies and within minutes the load disappeared. The driver is hospitalized. The police have seized $28 million worth of cocaine during the search of a plane destined for England. The police say the cocaine was seized on Wednesday in nine rectangular shaped containers found in a garbage bin. In sports, the West Indies has qualified for the finals of the men's and women's ICC T20 World Cups. The men will face England in the final, but the women will meet Australia. Both finals will be played on April 3. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.